Oh, what's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to give you guys my five favourite sniper rifles in the game pre-dot below DLC But before we get into the video can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and do enjoy daily Destiny content Be sure to subscribe and if you could help this video have a like I do appreciate the support Let's see if we can reach 3,000 likes that would be insane if we could Now we're going to start at number five obviously because it's a countdown and in number five my fifth favourite sniper rifle in the game pre DLC is the chosen sniper now this is a future walkout sniper rifle it's a void damage weapon um, it's, well, it's it's standard mods are taken knee game bonus accuracy while crouched it's got final round the last round in a magazine deals bonus damage it's got snapshot aim this weapon is incredibly fast field scout maximum ammo capacity and it's got perfect balance this weapon has extremely low recoil which is the actual perk I use because without this it has got a little bit of a balance when shooting you can go for field scout if you prefer to control the balance I just go with perfect balance I just just the way I use shit um, but yeah this is a great all-round sniper rifle like I said it's a future war called sniper definitely worthy of anybody's top five in my opinion in at number four is the Epitaph or Epitaph 2261. Now this is a Vanguard sniper. It's an arc damage weapon. This is basically an exact replica of the actual Chosen, just an arc damage weapon. With a little bit of better stability in my opinion. Um, it's standard mods are spray and play. Increases the reload speed of this weapon while mag is empty. It's got snapshot, perfect balance and field scout just like the Chosen. And it's also got final round, the last round in the magazine deals bonus damage. Which just work wonders by the way in both PvP and PVE. I just give it a little bit of slight advantage over the actual Chosen because I do think the, st uh, the stability is a lot better and plus it has got a better scope which is the ambush scope which is the one I always go for if I see a sniper with this actual scope. It's a great great all round sniper. Definitely worthy of a top 4. In at number 3 and this will probably surprise a lot of people is the Icebreaker. Now this would be definitely a lot of people's number 1 sniper rifle in the game. It's not mine, it's my third favourite sniper rifle in the game, the Icebreaker. It's an absolute beast, don't get it twisted, it's a solar damage weapon, it's got no backpack, means it cannot be reloaded, it regenerates ammo over time, it also regenerates ammo for any other special weapon also. Um, its standard mods are basically Mulligan, missing a shot, has a chance to return ammo directly into the magazine, which works wonders. It's got quick draw, this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast, it's got lightweight when hard, this weapon has plus two character agility, and it's got snapshot. Aim this weapon is incredibly fast, it's got ice Icebreaker. Icebreaker's victims spontaneously combust, dealing bonus damage to others nearby, which does work wonders also. But this is a great, great sniper rifle. One, I, to be honest, it's always in my inventory. It's never actually in my vault. I always keep this bad boy on me because you do come across some powerful solar enemies and this just absolutely flipping destroys them. Um, I wouldn't put it up there in my number two spot or my number one spot because just for the simple fact is I like stability on a sniper. This one has got none of it. I mean, you'll shoot, you shoot three or four bullets after this and you'll be looking into the sky. I do prefer snipers with more stability and my top two have got the top best stability in the game in my opinion but all around the icebreaker is an amazing sniper rifle and I can see it being at the number one spot in a lot of people's books but not mine. In at number two is the Patience and Time Sniper Rifle. Now I know this will surprise a lot of people because seeing as the Icebreaker is at my number three spot, a lot of people will probably thought, oh yeah, is it obviously just going to choose the Patience and Time for number one? But no, you're wrong. The Patience and Time only gets number two. Yes, I prefer this to the Icebreaker just because its stability on this thing is amazing. And after the actual 1.1 uh, patch as well, where they actually gave this weapon a basically a, a lower zoom uh, it's basically this in my opinion is a much better scope than this before this scope was introduced to this weapon the custom optic scope or mod um, I was using field scout the one thing that put me off this weapon was how far it zoomed in and now it's got a low zoom scope it's way 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 better the stability on this thing is amazing it's powerful it's accurate it, it's great it's rare fires good it's reloads perfect now, I would say it's magazine size being four is pretty low but like I said you can have that upgraded to I think it weighs it six you can have it upgraded to six with field scout but then you get that long zoom scope and hitting enemies that are running at you at close range is a bit of a pain in the ass and that's why I do like the custom optics and I'll just go for the four ammo clip that doesn't bother me it's also got third eye radar stays active while aiming down sights that's an amazing mod and it's got probably the best uh, mod you could wish for on a sniper rifle in the game it's called patience and time you game 
active camouflage while aiming down the sights on this weapon. This works in both PvE and PvP, and in PvE it does get you out of a lot of sticky situations, trust me. But the Patience of Time is an amazing sniper rifle, uh, definitely worthy of anybody's top 5 in my opinion. In at number 1 and my favourite sniper rifle in the game is the Predest Revenge and this is a void damage sniper rifle. You get this for taking part in the raid, the Vault of Glass raid. It's just an all round absolute flipping tank and what makes it even better is that it's a legendary. You don't have to worry about choosing other weapons, you can choose another exotic while using this sniper because it's a legendary so you haven't got to fuck around messing around with switching over exotics to choose this. You can just have this as one of your primary weapons and not worry about changing it, it's as simple as that. Now it has got um, that ambush scope which I absolutely love. Any sniper rifle that has this ambush scope is the one I'll pick straight away. Um, it's got firefly precision kills, this weapon causes the target to explode. It's got flared magwa, reload this weapon even faster. It's got quick draw, this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. It's got field scout, maximum ammo capacity. And with them, so you can have maximum ammo capacity and it's also got a full stability bar, meaning this weapon does not bounce whatsoever. It's insane, it's got a uh, feeding frenzy, kills this weapon, increase the reload speed for a short period of time. Um, it's got Oracle Disruptor, this weapon deals bonus damage through Oracles in the Vault of Glass. It's just a great, great sniper rifle. If you guys have got this and you've kicked it up like I have, you've leveled it up like I have, you guys will know this is an absolute beast. It's a monster in PvE and it's a monster in PvP and that's why it's at my number one spot. It's my favourite sniper rifle in the game pre Dark Below DLC. But guys, uh, what is your favourite sniper rifle in the game? You had to pick your favourite five. Leave them down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. Thanks as always for stopping by and peace out until next time. Peace.